Hello students, welcoming you all to the e-learning classes organized by Delhi Public School, Makamunia Sal. So today I am going to begin with the third chapter of English literature that is Town, Town, Town from Alice Adventure in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. So now I am beginning with the story. Chapter 3 down, down, down. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the river bank and doing nothing. Once or twice, she has peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. What is the use of the book? thought Alice without pictures or conversations. So she was thinking when suddenly she notices a white rabbit with pink eyes red close by her. The rabbit seemed worried. It said to itself, Oh dear, oh dear, I shall be late. It took a watch out of its waistcoat pocket looked at it and then hurried on. Alice jumped to her feet. She had never seen before a rabbit with either a waist pocket or a watch to take out of it. She ran across the field after it. She was just in time to see it pop down. A ra large rabbit hole under some bushes. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once thinking how she was to get out of it. The rabbit hole went straight on like a tunnel for some way and then dropped down so suddenly that Alice found herself falling down a very deep well. Either the well was very deep or she fell very slowly. For she had plenty of time as she went down to look about her and to wonder what was going to happen. She looked at the sides of the well and noticed that they were filled with cupboards and bookshelves. Here and there she saw maps and pictures hung on the walls. She took down a jar from one of the bookshelves. As she passed, it was labeled Orange Mamala. But to great disappointment, it was empty. She managed to put it into one of the cupboards as she fell. Well, thought Alice to herself, after a fall, like this, I shall think nothing of trembling down stairs. How brave they will be, thinking me at home. Town, town, town. Would the fall never come to an end? I wonder how many miles I have fallen this time. She said aloud, I must be getting closer to the center of the earth. Let me see. That would be 4,000 miles down. I think, yes. That's about the right distance. She began again. I wonder if I shall fall right through the earth. How funny it will be seem to come out among the people that walk with their hands downward. Town, town, town. There was nothing as to do. So Alice 
soon begin talking again. Dinner will miss me very much tonight. I think dinner would have eaten something. I hope they will remember how saucer of the milk at tea time. Dinner, my dear. I wish you were here. But there were no mice in the air. But you might catch a bat. And death is very like a mouse. You know. But do cat eat bats? I wonder. And then Alice began to get rather sleepy and went to sing to herself in a dreamy shop of faith. Do cat eat red? Do cat eat red? And sometimes do bad eat red? She could not answer either question, so it did not matter much this time. She felt that she was dozing off and has just begun to dream that she was walking hand in hand with Tina. When suddenly, thump, 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 she became upon a heap of stick and dry leaves and the fall was over. Alice was not a bit hurt and she jumped up on to her feet in a moment. Before her was another long passage and the white rabbit was still in sight. Hurrying down it, Alice ran like the wind, chasing after the rabbit. She was just in time to hear it say, as it turned a corner, Oh my ears and whiskers, how late it is getting. So, in the story, there is a little girl whose name was Alice, who was seeing her sister's book, who was reading the book. And Alice has no interest in reading that book, because there was no pictures and conversation in that book. And while noticing her sister's book, she also noticed a strange rabbit. She has not seen a rabbit like that rabbit. So, she tries to follow that rabbit. And while following, she just falls into a hole. And while following, she sees that this fall is so slow that maybe I have fallen to the center of the earth. And while thinking, she remembers of her cat. And she hopes that her family members would have given her the milk in the tea time. While thinking of her cat, she also gets confused about cat and bat. She says, do cat eat bats or do bat eat cat? And then while thinking, she again hears a thump sound. It was the end of the hole. And she, and she noticed a rabbit in the another passage. And the rabbit was saying, Oh, I am getting so late. My ears and whiskers. And when Alice hears that the rabbit can speak, she gets shocked and says, Oh, this rabbit can speak. So this was the story of an imagination which are really untrue. So I hope you all have understood the story. I will be forwarding you the question, answer and exercise of this chapter in the classroom. You can complete your books and notebooks from there. Thank you.